know what? I think you just put them up. Just put them down over here, and I'll just get to it as soon as I get to it. Oh, God. Okay, wait, Sorry. you know what? Hold hey, on. What's, uh, going, what's going on here? Oh, I just, uh... I just, uh, what? What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Everything's good. You're home early, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, but I work fast when I'm not disturbed. <laughs> what, what, what's this on my desk? They're just the uh, fabric swatches, you know, wallpaper samples and stuff. I decided I wanted to redecorate Michael's room, and um, so I called the store, and I, and I asked Johnny to go down and pick up the stuff. Hey. You told me to keep her happy. Well, I... I, I I didn't tell you to do errands hey, with her. Hey, don't get upset at him. Well, I just, he was being nice, you know? Do me a favor, okay? Go back in the, into, the, into the hall, and, and, and your job is to guard, not to decorate the, my apartment with her. Hey, Johnny, thank you very much. And I will see you later, okay? Okay. Carly, hmm. okay, you gotta understand something, okay? Mm -hmm. This is my desk. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm really sorry. You know what? Let me get these big, heavy. No, 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 no! Don't leave, 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 leave it alone. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. That you, Santa's toy bag exploded in my, in my living room. <laughs> Children are messy, you know. I would have thought that you'd realize that by now. Michael didn't do this. You did. I'm just trying to make the place more comfortable for, for my uh, son and I, which which reminds me, actually, I was thinking of redoing the, the sofa down here in these primary colors, no, no, red and... No, wait, the time out, okay? No. Nice try, but it's not gonna work. What? I, I don't, uh, I'm just trying to make this place comfortable for my son. If that's a problem for you, then, you, you know, uh, maybe we should... Do you want me to throw you out so you think by, by tossing kids' toys under, under my feet I'm gonna get sick of you and, and send you to Bobby's? I'm sorry for the mess, but, you know... Graciela can pick it up, if she ever gets here. Woman is the most overpaid and underworked housekeeper I've ever known in my life. She's worthless. Let her earn her salary for once. Bobby Spencer. Thanks. I just came from the Quartermaids. Yeah, welcome to paradise. So what's going on? Well, um... Yeah. Carly has accepted my offer to move in with me. You have to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing, but, you know, big, bad Sonny just won't listen to anyone. I know, I know you care about Michael and your daughter, but um, the decision is made. And it's final. You see what I mean? He won't listen. He won't listen to anyone. Sonny, I have no intention of trying to tell you how to live your life, but exactly what is it about this arrangement that appeals to you? Well, I'm, you know, Michael and my kid are, are going to be living in, in my home where I know they'll be uh, safe and loved. And Carly? She will learn to... Get along with me. This is about the new baby, isn't it? Are you afraid that Carly will deny you access? Well, you know, I mean, the thought did occur. If Carly and Michael were to move into the brownstone with me, I guarantee that won't be a problem. Huh. You could come over and visit any time. Just call and come over, no restrictions. Wait a minute, do I not get a say in this? No, at the moment you don't. Okay, you know what, it, it's, it's a generous offer, but Carly is unpredictable. I've seen how she uses people, and that is not gonna happen to Michael or my kid. I don't understand. If you mistrust her so much, why have her live here with you? <sighs> Before we can be parents, we have to learn to cooperate with each other. That's why she's here, and that's why she's staying. How to work with each other, make decisions, uh, keep our tempers intact. Living here is the best way I know how. What about Michael? Well, he's gonna have his old room uh, uh, decorated by his mother, Letitia's here, and Edward Quartermain isn't. Yeah, but you are. You see, it's gonna... Be... It'll take a little while, but we'll get it done. Mm. Sonny, I can understand why you might be a little wary of Carly, but aren't you risking making things worse instead of better? 
Let me tell you something. The worst was, was everybody lining up for another custody fight. That's not gonna happen now. Carly, Michael, the baby, and I, we will all live together. Excuse me. Hey, hello. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta take this upstairs. Can you believe this? He actually forced me to eat an omelet this morning. He's trying to control everything that I do. <laughs> He's determined. I'll give him that. Yeah, well, this is worse than, than being at the Quartermains. At least there, I had some hope oh, of escape. Honey, there's always hope. Now, wait a minute. Actually, this might not be as bad as you think. <laughs> but, um, Bobby? I know you came here out of love for your, your family, and I just want you to know, anytime you want to come back, door's open. Thank you. Until Michael, I stop by to see him. If I think of it. I sure hope you know what you're doing. OK, I, I get it. I gotta go to the warehouse. Could you have this place, you know, just organized or something by the time I get back, cleaned up, whatever you want to do? Or what? <laughs> you gonna kick me out? Carly, <laughs> <laughs> if I had my choice, I wouldn't be on the same planet with you, but I don't, and neither do you. We're stuck with each other. Get used to it. 